in Morristown, Tennessee, where we followed the feature card at Cherokee Park for round one. Moving on to hole number one, 265 foot down there. Yes. My first Tennessee State tournament I played. I went long past the pin, rolled down the hill, out of bounds, tried to make the putt, missed, rolled back down, out of bounds, took a six. Oh, man. <laughs> so, it can happen. Yeah. Stopped on the side of the hill there. Lars B looking at an absolute death putt, like I said. Down the hill, there's OB. It's either make this or add some strokes. Mm. And he makes it. Mm-hmm. That's a huge putt right there. Yes, it is. Snappy. Moving on to hole number two, 535 foot par four. This is a crush. Yes. You're going to have to crush it to get anywhere close to the pin on this one. And it looks like Barsby did exactly that. That is a great shot. It starts... Yeah. For more than half the field. Definitely. We were lucky to get a card with huge arms, so they're making this hole look a whole lot easier than it is. Mm -hmm. Trust the skies, this <laughs> is no easy task. Oh, mm. just off the cage and oh. it rolls. It's got to sit down. Looking at another sizable putt yeah. near it. Got to be in Barsby's head here after that putt. So close to the eagle. And then to take a roll. But he's definitely going for it. Oh, hits oh. the band. Oh, again. Throws his, throws his hands up and... A little bit of frustration. And don't ever put it in. Just get it over with. Yeah. I've, I've had that feeling before. Barsby's got to make this one after two rolls. There you go. Taking a four after looking at an eagle. Barsby right behind him at 12. 445 foot par four. I don't know if I've ever seen somebody roll that much on this hole. That's definitely got to get in your head right at the end of the round. Throw such a high hyzer. And it rolled back that far. Bars we have another good. It's going to be a birdie three to finish out the round. Anytime you finish on a birdie, it's got to feel good. Bars be looking at a long putt here. For eagle. Taking his time, make sure he lines it up. You can see. Now Barsby here with one of the hardest putts you'll ever see. It's a proposal putt. <laughs> Let's see if she says yes. And she does. That's a great putt right there. You got to feel good to end around out that way. Starting off on hole four, it's a 310 foot in. That should be a putt. Another end of a sponsored player, Greg Barsby. 2009 Masters Cup champion. Same play, Heiser. Lands a little bit short, but he gets that forward skip. So he's got a huge bars be lining up, trying to toss in for a birdie. All the way out from California. <laughs> okay, going on to hole number five, 345 feet. More of a uh, upshot than he wanted. Looked like he wasn't excited Please. about that. Yeah. yeah, he didn't want to do that. Here goes Barsby lining up beforehand as well. Nice flip down the middle. That's pretty clean. Fading out a little bit. He'll be all right right there. Better for him. Barsby's looking at a putt. He wants this too. Gotta love the black butters. 
<laughs> oh. oh, oh, almost. He wanted that too on the card. That would have been a stroke on quite a few people on the field. I won't say the whole field, but that would have been a stroke on lots. It's such a small. It's like uh, hole number six here, 290 foot. But there is a tree right, right in this way, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Barsby with a flick. Ooh. Ooh, it's an early tree. I don't know what kind of gap he saw. I didn't see one. I've never seen one up there. That's not but, the AM gap. <laughs> no, he he apparently saw something that we've never seen. Let's see what Barsby. kind of approach Barsby can get. And smooth, That's right underneath perfect. the basket. Except Cole. Hole number seven. Here's Barsby. Going flick down the middle. Oh, if it wasn't for that tree, that was going to be almost put it in. Barsby, he's shooting for two here. Shooting for this two. This is a good birdie to get. I know it seems kind of short, 340 feet, and it plays slightly downhill, but... Oh, oh, hits the chains. Everything but in. Barsby, really unfortunate spit out, going for a two, so he's cleaning up with a par. Yeah, he wanted that. Schuster and Cole sitting at even. Moving on to 615 foot close to the basket. That's amazing. You see, very little shorter than Dickerson, but a great shot. Here goes Barsby. Same kind of play. Looks like it faded out a little bit earlier than he wanted. He didn't look too happy with it, but that was... A lot farther than he thought it was. Yeah. Barsby be trying to just approach it as close as he can for an easy birdie. There you go. <laughs> Especially for us hands. Oh, yeah. I'm very happy with the par. Hole number nine, 450 feet. Uh, here. He's got a putt. It's a long putt, but as we've said before, he's a world champion, so we'll see what he can do with it. Barsby. Didn't look too happy with it here. Yeah, it cut off a little bit shorter but, than him one, but he's right there. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> Barsby checking the wind. Sizable putt. Taking his time. There he is. Another there. eagle. That's nice. Four down. On to hole number 10, 485 feet. One. But I guess not. Barsby. Looks like he's going. Same kind of play. Hopefully he'll make an adjustment here after seeing what Chris did. Fading to the right. And look at that. Pass the pin. 485. I like that kind of, it's like a pushing it up rather than putting your whole arm into it, just giving it some control. Bars be looking for a two here. Oh. oh. He wanted that. Graham, he wants to make 100% sure he's throwing it the right way. With an OB behind him after that OB stroke. Hole number 11, 290 feet. It's wide open at the in the middle there, but... At the beginning, no. Not at the beginning and not at the end either, as you can see. This is definitely a hole that I couldn't wait to see the pros, how they attack. Bars be looking at a putt. Mr. California. Boy, don't he look like it. He just <laughs> got that California stride to him. Barry. I'm sorry, Barsby. If he can make this, then he's still got one stroke on Dickerson. There you go. down and then Schuster was at three 
and snappy to it absolutely is and this a flick out of it is something i'd never mm. seen hit those limbs and died down there still not it's exactly what he wanted to do toss it out toss it up carry on to the three Barsby with a nice up, right beside it. Snappy, Barsby tapping in their threes. We'll be starting out this part on hole 13. Everybody in the MPO division is going to want to do this one. You know, the sponsored Greg Barsby on the tee. Now there is danger for a roll off of this drive. Now, Barsby's putting uphill where uh, Will and Chris were putting down. Sometimes you, you hit that cage, you might catch a roll. Uh, Dickerson and Schultz are still at six down. This is a 630. Far, it's a pretty far hole. Yeah, the longest hole on the course. Barsby lining up a huge shot. I know for me, I definitely want to be on that right side so I can have a hyzer approach. Great shot, which you can't see from the camera. He actually rolled downhill. It's a steep drop off down there. It's going to be hard for him to get his three on here. Barsby looking just for a soft up shot. Looks like he does just that. He should be just fine right there. There. Right before this shot, Barsby told me to come over behind him. He said, you're going to want to see this. And I got over there behind, and I was surprised that he was actually going for this. <laughs> See him look back, pointing at me, because he said, you're going to want to see this. He called it. He, he definitely called it. Going. Uh, one stroke on Dickerson now. He's sitting at seven under. 360 foot par, uh, par three, hole number 15. There's a, a left side gap over there. Looks like Barsby's trying to go on that left side. They've cut a lot of trees out of that side. It used to not be that wide, and that is a great shot. Yeah, they've definitely taken the teeth. The video, but yeah. that is an amazing shot. Right video there. does not do that approach justice. He was looking at basically nothing down there and somehow made it work. Bars be looking for a two. Got it. Great putt. Got to thank Corey Murphy for down. And as you can see, we're moving on to hole number 16, 310 foot. It's going to be a flick or an anti backhand putter shot for most of these guys. Barsby goes with the flick. And that's a great shot right there. Great right, shot. Now there's some early kick didn't bother him at all. Barsby with pretty much a tap in. Down and Dickerson at eight down. 480 foot par four. This is another one of those fours that you're probably not gonna agree with being a four. Not for the pros, no. For the AMs, it can be. For this level of play, no. Mm. It's a good shot, the birdie. Barsby looks like he's running this, trying to go for an eagle putt here. I'm sure he probably doesn't realize it's a par four, so he's probably thinking birdie in his head right here. High and left. Bars be going to tap in. Still a birdie. Mm -hmm. So that's how it's counted during the tournament. Another par four moving on to 455. Had a blast playing around with him. Beautiful course we played on. Mountain Coal Farms in Chickamauga, Georgia. It's a beautiful course. Got Greg Barsby here. He's a six-time NorCal champion. Another great shot. 
Okay. On this hole. There is OB, but it's pretty far back there, so. Yeah. Bars be going with a jump putt. Boom. Still going to walk away with a birdie. Right there, you can see Corey Murphy in the background. That's Look at that guy back guy. there. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he did a great job. Absolutely. Once again, huge thank you to you, Corey. Can't wait to film some more MPO and FPO coverage for you. Ooh, I'm just so dynamic on another latitude that can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy. I stay blasting off and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy yeah. since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies. I'm so astonishing. I say Innova. Yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies. God, give me them. Championships. I'm going to give me some and I'm going to keep on grinding till the millions come.